Now on to the deadly outbreak of E. coli infections in Germany, which is causing some shoppers here to ask more questions about where their fruit and vegetables come from. Well, 22 people have died and about 2,000 have become ill. But so far, all those affected either come from or have visited the region near Hamburg. Here's our health correspondent, Rob Sissons. Yes, most strains of the E. coli bacterium are harmless, but some can produce toxins that can cause severe illness. Well, in the latest E. coli outbreak, it was Spanish cucumbers that were wrongly suspected. Now German bean sprouts are being seen as the source. Well, at Nottingham Trent University, they're doing research into E. coli, and an expert there says shoppers need to keep things in perspective. If you think of how many bacteria come in contact with how many uh, items of food on a daily basis and yet something like this is so rare that it causes such a large news event. We all know about the precautions you should take when you're handling uh, raw meat. It's common sense to apply those same basic hygiene principles to handling raw vegetables, raw salad leaves. Give them a good wash um, before you eat them is, is excellent advice. Now in our fruit and veg markets it seems shoppers are asking more questions though there's no panic. We've been chatting today to people in both Derby and Leicester. We've had a lot of people asking us about it. What you know? What's it? Are the cucumbers okay? It's mainly the cucumbers because of what they said in, when it first came out that the cucumbers from Spain, didn't they? They said this one. It's German. What's that all about? What's going to be tomorrow? Portugal, France, Italy. People have asked where fruit has started to come from now, but not many really. The amount of publicity for the extent of the problem is exaggerated. I'm not at all concerned about it. This trader in Derby says that this time of year the UK is less reliant on imports. We are into the English season. You know, the broccolis, cabbages, tomatoes, lettuces, uh, cucumbers even. Uh, all British, uh, all very traceable. Well, it coincides in the UK with Food Safety Week. And when it comes to storing food at home, well, top tips from the Food Standards Agency are keep it at five Celsius or below and let hot food cool before you put it in the fridge. Members of the public still believe that used by dates don't necessarily have to be adhered to, which is totally incorrect. Manufacturers put a used by date there to inform the public that that is the date at which that food should be used by um, in order to protect their safety. And ideally, experts recommend dairy food should be kept right at the top of the fridge, cooked meats below that, and raw meat, including fish and poultry, at the bottom. And we're told not to overload the fridge, but of course that can be easier said than done.